Hi guys, Michelle here with the Traveling Epicurean. I got a great dip for you today. It's a buffalo chicken dip. It's layered. We bake it in the oven till it's bubbly and then we eat it with tortilla chips or carrots or celery. Unbelievable. You're going to love this and it's so simple to make. And yes, I am getting into the football spirit. Um, it's the beginning of the season, so everyone's pretty excited. I have my eye black and my Patriots colors for my dad. And now I have this amazing dip. I can't wait to show you how to make. So let's get in that kitchen and I'm gonna grab those ingredients. So these are the ingredients for the buffalo chicken dip. We have chicken tenderloins. We have some sliced carrots and celery room temperature Philadelphia cream cheese, some homemade buffalo sauce made with the Red Hots and a half a stick of melted butter. You just whisk it, it blends really nicely. A third of a cup of crumbled blue, a third of a cup of shredded cheddar, and a third of a cup of mozzarella, some tortilla chips, and Frank's Red Hot sauce. And we're gonna get the chicken on the stove and just start to simmer that with some Frank's Red Hot sauce. All right, and so what this buffalo chicken dip is, it's a layered dish. The first layer is cream cheese. It gets all puffy when it's heated. The next layer is chicken that we saute in Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Then we drizzle our homemade buffalo sauce on top of that and then sprinkle three cheeses, cheddar, mozzarella, and crumbled blue. We bake it till it's sizzling and bubbling and then we dive in with these tortilla chips or the carrots or celery. It is to die for. You're gonna love this. Let's get over to the stove and we're gonna start making that chicken. So I just put the chicken in the pan with one tablespoon of olive oil, just to coat the pan. And I'm gonna let it saute for about two, three minutes on each side, just to get a little bit golden, just some color. And then I'm gonna flip it over and do another two or three minutes on the other side. And then we're gonna add some Frank hot sauce to this. So here we go, it's been about three minutes. I'm just gonna flip it over. So simple. I love this recipe. Couldn't get any easier. I don't want to be slaving in the kitchen when I have guests over. I love this recipe. Alright, so that's going to be another three minutes on that side. And now I'm just going to start to sprinkle in some Frank's Red Hot Sauce. You know, it's going to be about two tablespoons, okay? It doesn't have to be exact. It's going to be absolutely delicious. We're just going to let it simmer in that for about two minutes so it thickens up a little bit. And then we're going to take it off the stove and we're going to shred it up. You can shred it, you can cut it, whatever makes you happy. And then we're going to start layering our dip. And I got the oven preheating at 375 right now. Look how beautiful that looks. Oh, and it smells so good. Be careful not to smell too closely because <laughs> that Frank's hot sauce will go right up your nose. All right. <laughs> All right, so look how gorgeous this is. Another two minutes on medium high and that Frank's hot sauce thickened up and I'm just gonna leave it right in the pan here and then I'm just gonna take two forks and just look how tender that tenderloin meat is. And we didn't cook it for very long, so it didn't get tough on us. Oh my goodness, it smells amazing. I love the smell of buffalo sauce. It just reminds me of having wings, yet this is so much easier than making chicken wings. All right, so I'm gonna shred this and then we're gonna start layering all of these wonderful things. So that was really quick. Eight minutes at the stove to saute that chicken. I got it shredded and I actually switched um, bowls because that oval bowl was a little bit too big and the layer of cream cheese would have been really thin and that would be hard to scoop up with the tortilla chips. So this size is gonna be perfect and now I'm gonna start to put down our first layer of our dip, which is this cream cheese that's room temperature. It's really important to be room temperature. It just spreads so much easier. So I'm gonna spread this out. So look how nicely this just goes down. 
And I have my offset spatula, which is really bendy. I love this little thing. I actually have a larger one too, but I seem to always go to this one. And I'm just gonna try and make a little bit even. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's all layered. And what I love about the cream cheese is it just, it puffs when it's, when it's heated. So it's gonna be light and creamy not heavy at all and then all the flavors of the buffalo sauce just make this so amazing it will be the first dip um, at your party that will be that will disappear for sure all right so we have our cream cheese there now i'm going to start to sprinkle in our chicken here just like that you know i've seen a lot of crock pot buffalo chicken recipes, but they end up putting everything in the crock pot eventually after having the chicken in there for over an hour. And then they stir it all in. It ends up being this big soup. Um, I don't know. I, I seem to like this better, having it layered instead of, uh, instead of soupy. And, and it's less messy as well because if you spill that sauce on you, it might be difficult to get out of your clothes or out of your rug. <laughs> so I find this is less messy. All right, so we've got our chicken and then I'm gonna drizzle our homemade buffalo sauce that we made. This is so easy to make. A half a, a stick of butter, I melted it, and then I, you can add anywhere from a quarter cup to a half a cup. I take the middle road and I go a third of a cup and then I whisk it and it combines really, really easily. All right, I'm gonna to start to drizzle this in there, just like this. And this also gives it a little extra flavor and juice to, um, to back up against that fluffy cream cheese. I got this recipe from a couple of friends of mine, Lisa and Vin. This came from their kitchen. This was Lisa's layered dip. And um, I loved it so much, I thought it would be perfect to show you for your football parties because I know you're really gonna like this a lot. And around the, the uh, middle of November, we're going to their kitchen and Vin's gonna show us how to make his father's homemade pasta. So we're gonna have an afternoon over there. It's gonna be so much fun, so you need to look out for that one, okay? All right, so back to the buffalo dip. We got that all there. I'm gonna do the crumbled blue cheese next. I like to get a good blue cheese because I make an awesome homemade blue cheese dressing, which you can get that link right up there. Um, and so since you only need a third of a cup of this, I, um, I use the rest of it to make that homemade dressing. So you can also do that too. All right, so we got the blue cheese there. And then we're gonna do our cheddar. This is just so delicious. And we'll do our mozzarella. I, I just mix it up a little bit with the fork to fluff it up. Not, you don't have to get crazy. And I use almost all the, the buffalo sauce. Let's get this in the oven and we're gonna start baking it till it's all bubbly. Oh my goodness. Look at this. It's still sizzling. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is the buffalo chicken dip. Out of this world, I cannot wait to dig that tortilla in there. Can you see it bubbling over there? It's all melted, it smells heavenly. I could smell that wonderful buffalo sauce that we made with the Frank's hot sauce and the butter. Oh my goodness, my mouth is watering. All right, I'm gonna take a couple pictures of this for our thumbnail picture on the show, and then we're gonna have a bite of this. Well, this just doesn't seem quite right, that we could spend this little time and effort in making this dish, and it looks like that. It's absolutely beautiful. I don't even wanna to touch it, but I can't wait to dive in. These flavors are some of my favorite flavors. Mm. Oh my goodness, so delicious. The blue cheese flavors with that homemade buffalo sauce that we made out of this world. You are gonna love this. Woo! It's a little spicy. I think I need something cold and refreshing right now. 
Um, you could find this recipe, of course, on my website, thetravelingepicurean.com, or my YouTube channel. You're going to like this one. Have a great weekend. Ciao! This party dip is so amazing. You're going to be so happy, I think. Later. Not, you know, sitting in a crock pot for hours becoming this soupy, goopy mess. <laughs> But um, anyways, I'm just sitting here, blah, 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 and uh, what we, oh, we're going to go to the kitchen. That's right. We're going to the kitchen, and we're going to pick up those ingredients. So come on, let's get going.